From the flight deck to your TV set, you're watching Five Minutes with Herb. From the flight deck to your TV set, you're watching Five Minutes with Herb. I'm your host, Herb Jackson, and today, as always, my goal is to make this the best five minutes of your day. So I ask that you sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome aboard. Today, I'm very fortunate to have our guest, Ben Milliken, aboard. Ben is a working actor who has scored many roles in both television and movies. Uh, some of his notable movies are Blue Crush 2, the recently released Mighty Oak, and on the television side, he's made appearances on CSI Miami and on one of my favorite shows, season five of Bosch. So without further ado, let's welcome aboard my man, Ben Milliken. I understand before you started acting that um, you used to box. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. So you tell a us a little bit, bit about how, uh, how boxing was for you. Um, I mean, it's, it's still my most favorite sport in the world. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm obsessed with boxing. I love the sport. I'm constantly watching boxing. It's been a weird year for it, obviously, but I'm excited for it to start, to start up again and so some of the bigger fights can happen again. Yeah, I mean, the whole... As we know, the whole world. I mean, it's been a weird year for everything, hasn't it? Yeah, exactly. So when you once you decided to start pursuing acting, did you yeah. draw anything from boxing to help you uh, when you were uh, learning acting? One of them was work ethic, I guess, because you know you have to work really hard. Um, and you know, there's a thing with boxing. It's like. You know, you can't fake boxing. You can't play boxing. Yeah. You know, I think when it comes to preparation and all that kind of stuff, uh, you know, that, that, that bleeds into it a little bit. And um, also the importance of uh, relaxation. So, you know, a lot of people would imagine that a sport like boxing is all and major aggression. Yeah, they, but you'll see the best boxers in the world are relaxed. They're not tense. They're smiling. I mean, look at Floyd Mayweather. Oh yeah, he's always <laughs> he's always got a smile. Yeah, always got a smile, and, and he's always having fun. You know, when he's in there, he's having fun. Well, one of the reasons it's, it's just yeah. one of the best. One of the ever. best, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Was there any sort of major adjustment you had to make in terms of like culturally from Australia to say Los Angeles or just the United States in general? Um, it was more United States in general. Um, when I first got here, I, I felt sick or something and I wanted to go to a doctor Uh and (laughs) a friend of mine told me, Oh, well, you don't have health insurance. Let's talk about health insurance. I don't need health. What what do you mean? (laughs) Well, if you don't have health insurance, you have to pay for the doctor a lot of money. And this and, and that was completely foreign to me. I'd never paid for a doctor in my entire life until I moved here. Um, yeah. W- w- welcome to America. huh? Yeah. But then on the flip <laughs> side of that, when I moved to L.A., I was like, wow, things are open. Because where I grew up, it was, you know, small town kind of vibes. It was small beach community. You know, things close at like eight o'clock. Uh, okay. So, so it's, you know, I can, here I can, you know, order food or something at, at midnight sometimes and, it's, and it'll show up. You know, that's, <laughs> that's fascinating to me. And just also, I think, especially in just, just the mixture of cultures as well. I agree. I agree. So we come over to Los Angeles, you start Mm -hmm. working, um, television, movie roles pop up, and you land on actually one of my favorite shows, Bosch. What a show, right? How how awesome was that? Everybody on that show is just A plus from the top to all the way down, like to the PAs, to everybody. Everybody is just A plus um and you know the 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 quality level the the professionalism just the 
the way that 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 show is run it's just absolutely fantastic i actually discovered it um i watched the wire and jamie hector who is yeah. um edgar jagger yeah Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that's how I ended up starting to watch the show. Um, and, you know, Harry Bosch, I mean, the whole thing, it, it's, I just love it. It's unbelievable. One of my favorite scenes is here you are, you're in the Twin Otter. Yes. With, uh, with Harry. <laughs> Explain to me how that whole scene, as much detail as you can set up and how it was to, to act in that scene. So, the lead up to the scene, we were actually at the Sultan Sea. Okay. Uh, we pull up, um, get in the plane. That was done. That was the very last thing we did in the entire season. Prior to that, two weeks ago, we shot all of the interiors of the plane. Okay. That was built on a stage. Uh, okay. Yeah. And, you know, this huge sound stage, everything is green. They built the plane inside the soundstage and put it on this hydraulic system. So then when, yeah, it was gnarly. So then when the plane goes up, it's on this hydraulic system. So it's going up and it goes up like 15 feet in the air. Wow. And then when I open the door, there's this huge fan blowing. And it's just, so, and, as we're doing the fights and stuff like that, the yeah. planes moving and on the hydraulic system. It was epic. That seems unbelievable. I mean, I yeah. loved it. Yeah, it was, I, I tell you, the, it was one of the coolest set pieces I've ever seen. I gotta say, it's been great having you on today. Um, in terms of like social media and stuff, how do we get a hold of you? You can catch me at Ben, at Ben.Milliken on instagram okay perfect and folks if you haven't seen make sure you go out and stream mighty yoke that just was uh released uh, i think this, this summer year. yeah this summer yeah, yeah. this summer you check that out it's a it's a really fun movie ben before we let you go i gotta get you into the lightning round so what i'm gonna do here <laughs> i'm is so bad at these i'm What's so ahead? bad at these <laughs> let's try it man i'm terrible at these things oh dude, dude you, you're gonna love it you're, you're gonna I'm love like it you're a deer in headlights it. so what we're gonna do 30 seconds. Okay. And um, hit the timer and you know, let me know when you're ready. All right. I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. Here we go. Cool. Boom. What is the first rule of Fight Club? Do not talk about Fight Club. Ah, exactly. I was going to say, don't even bother with that one. Don't what's, even bother. Uh, what's a more difficult task? Preparing for an audition or training for a fight? Preparing for an audition. Better musical reunion, the Rolling Stones or the Army of Love? <laughs> I would have to say the Stones. <laughs> I just, I got it. Sorry, guys. If you're going to take me surfing, mm. which better surf? Cape St. Francis in South Africa or Newcastle in Australia? Cape St. Francis. One more. Go to food. Right now you say, hey, man, let's go get some grub. Are you going to give me one of your vegan fajita loaded sweet potatoes or some Sour Patch Kids? Oh, you did your research. Sour Patch Kids, hands yeah. down, every day. <laughs> My man, thank you so much for playing along. Have a good one. We'll catch you on the next show. Thank you so much. That was the best lightning round I've ever done. 